So here are the two hats, and uh, I'm going to try on the blue one first. Quite a fine, fine creation. So I'm going to try and film myself. I'm going to, I'm going to try to film myself as I uh, try it on. So here's how when I take the blue hat. Oops, it's backwards. And as I sort of place it on my head with no effort at all, and just from gravity or from uh, without even trying at all, it sort of sinks into place. And even as I shake my head, it's not likely to come off because it's in a perfect position. And here's the relative position to my ears, kind of right about there. Here's my other ear. And um, if I apply a little upward pressure, it kind of lifts off kind of easy and then it falls right back down in place. But it never falls below my eyes. Or never falls, you know, doesn't fall down here, so it's not like huge. It's about as perfect as perfect can be. So as even as I shake it, or even as I sort of shake my head, um, it doesn't fall off. But at the same time, at the same time, it's not too tight. Or and the reason I'm shaking my head is just just to show that uh, the hat, or hopefully to show that the hat kind of moves a little bit. And it uh, it's not stuck on real tight. I can wear it back like this too. After a while, gravity will take its will uh, have its effect, and it'll start falling back. I have to kind of keep fixing it like that. So here's the green and white hat. So by comparison, so here's the green and white hat. And um, when I just simply set it in place with my shaggy hair. So as I set it in place, um, at no time does it ever sink into its natural preferred location or whatever you want to call it. So it doesn't really sink down and just sort of plop on top of my head. And you can see how uh, it remains kind of unsecured and doesn't take much work to shake my head and have it come off the side. So as I apply some downward force So when, when I ride my bicycle, now this would be the preferred, because it's it's so tight right now, that with this, in this position being as tight as it is, I can actually ride my bicycle at a pretty good speed and never have to worry about the wind pulling the hat off my head. So with the blue hat, I might have to really be careful about my bicycle speed, just to make sure that the wind doesn't knock it off. But this is pretty well stuck on there. And here's the relative position of my ears as I've sort of forced it down. Here's that ear and here's here's that ear. So I think it's pretty much the same position as the blue hat, you know, give or take. And as I apply a little bit of upward force, it takes a bit more effort to get it to pop off. And this also I can wear back like this with my long shaggy hair. Um, I can kind of wear, wear it back like this. That's another another way I can wear it. Like the kind of Tom Sawyer, I think. Maybe Huckleberry Finn would wear his hats like this back in the old days. So I can wear it like that. And, um, and this too, it's kind of... Uh, after a while, after a while, gravity will want to make it kind of fall off the back, but that's natural for probably any hat. So I can wear it like that. Or I can sort of force it down too in the front like this and it kind of catches my eye socket so I can have that that mysterious look sort of like you can't see my eyes so I can wear it like that and this too is kind of tough to get off but it is right in the eye socket so I wouldn't recommend it for people <laughs> anyway so um, so yeah it doesn't sink down the way the blue hat does but nevertheless, make no mistake, these are tremendous creations. Very, very beautiful, beautiful, beautiful hats. So I think I'll sign off for here.